Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, Prince Harry's latest Netflix documentary failed to secure a place in the top 10 shows on the streaming giant when it was released on August 30. This led many critics to suggest that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's previous success has waned since the couple's first docuseries, Harry and Meghan. Heart of Invictus followed several athletes as they trained for last year's Invictus Games started by Harry in 2014 for wounded or injured service members. The show also saw Harry open up about his mental health issues, while several scenes featured Meghan Markle supporting the Duke. PR expert Carla Spake claims that Prince Harry's five-episode series offered the public everything they loved about the Duke and avoided mudslinging, unlike his documentary with Meghan. No, he won't lose support, because the Harry and Meghan documentary was really sensationalized, she explained. It was at the time Spare was having leaks going out, and we just had the Oprah interview. There was already a lot of speculation and gossip. She continued, but Heart of Invictus does not have any of that. A large percentage of people who tuned in to watch the Harry and Meghan documentary probably wouldn't be interested in Invictus because it's not gossip. It's quite a serious and powerful series. The PR expert also suggested Harry was less inclined to do a promotional press tour as he had previously done following the release of his autobiography Spare. Carla suggested, he's also being careful with promotions and he has not been at the center of promoting it at all. Harry didn't do a press run. That was a careful decision that was made because it pulls the mudslinging away from it. This is about the veterans. It was the right choice. Heart of Invictus failed to make Netflix's top 10 chart in both the US and the UK the week it was released according to Newsweek, who branded the show a flop. Harry served as an executive producer for the series, while his company, Archwell, is listed as the production house behind the show. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.